What's up guys? Um, I know many of you know this bucky. If you if you went to Kilon, you were to Kilon in the early 2000s and the late 90s I think. Late this 90s, bucky, yeah. this bucky made name already that time. Oh, and it's well, yeah, yeah. we were born. It's a childhood dream basically I'm sitting <laughs> in here. Since I was you know, young, I used to watch this bucky. If you remember this bucky, please pause it, comment in the memory. <laughs> but it's gonna have some fun here. Oh. This is the old on the phone. In this bucky pools, I have to keep this thing else it comes off. <laughs> yeah, so this is the new pool now I'm gonna show you guys. Yeah. Yeah, I'm keeping it ready. <laughs> ready to take off. Mexico we found this area and it was some talking on the back here. Yeah like you said this is a 2J and a stock 2J. Stock 2J, stock internals. Alice. Everything, yeah. yeah. 
Apparently this, this motor's come around 240 kilowatts stock, yeah? if I'm not mistaken. 230, 230 something like ah. that. And now the motor's pushing four, 450 kilowatts. With a big turbo. With a big turbo. What size is this? 76. 76 mil, no? Yeah. So, other than the motor wing stock, it's just a turbo with a custom intake, no? Yes. Intake manifold and then the big radiator for the cooling. Yeah. And is the bucky running any mix? 50-50 um, ethanol. Tune for that, no? Yes, you can't run it just it on normal pump fuel. It won't be. It won't run right. No? And plus mine, as you said, if you must daily this bucky, it will use around one one five. One five at Just with the, yeah, we, we done the, the fabrication and the, like, fit um, the motor itself. GNT works, they done the whole conversion, they put everything here, just um, Wafi steel solutions. He fitted the catch can and this cover. Mm, it's a big catch can, no? Yeah. Sure. We had a smaller one on, mm. so we had to change it. Just to and the, the throttle body itself, intake manifold, sorry, but what intake manifold is it custom? It's custom, it's Wafi or so. Mm. Well, um, steel solutions here, so today. The buck is running 440 kilowatts, and yes. and Newton meters, I'm sure it's pushing through the sky. On 700. Boost. No? Yes, yeah. yes. On street tires, you know, you brave to drive so. <laughs> <laughs> And other than that, we had, we always used to run semi slicks, mm. but uh, it used to break the tough. We used to swap imagine. out the tough every month. Every launch, so. yeah. and it just snaps the tough. Yeah. And then the turbo. What, what turbo is this? You said precision. Precision turbo. 76 mil. 76 mil. With a single exit exhaust. Yeah. No. There's two exhausts. It's a straight <laughs> pipe. And so then there. There's a straight pipe and there's a side exit. So it's connected to one exhaust, no? Yeah. With a flap. Yeah, well, there's a switch inside the back. Okay, inside. you said the, the front is still torsion bars, no? Torsion bars in front. I yeah. assume it's still the leaf springs, no? Leaf springs. Ah, I can see there the bottom. Maybe but in the future, falling suspension. No? Yeah, but previously, you said when you bought the bucky, the bucky did have the race suspension installed, no? In front, yes. Just the front? Just in front. But then it was too low, and when you push the bucky, mm -hmm. then the nose lifts. Yeah, no? I can imagine, especially with the, with the, uh, with the launching, like you said, yes. Yeah. Then uh, what happened is, when you push the bucky, when mm -hmm. you push it, then the nose lifted, and then it would knock. When mm. you when you is a bar at the bottom, the stabilizer bar. Yeah, then the stabilizer bar would lock at the bottom. Ah, I see. But you said that it's just got duck over it and it's just put in yeah, torsion standard. bars again. Standard. And the back? No. Um, no work at the back. There's nothing at the back. No. There's the leaf springs, maybe falling. Hilux stuff still, no? Yeah, limited slip stuff. With Hilux, um. What you call it also gearbox? Yeah, T4T fat the box. The fat box. I had a bit of a wine in the box when you were yeah, driving. This one is probably gonna go. <laughs> it's normal by no. now. Because they have a power already waiting there, yeah. <laughs> just in case. <laughs> we have backups. We also have a backup motor. No? For if anything ever happens to this one, then. Stock um, motors though. Yeah. Then if anything ever happens to this mm. one, then we will um, just put that transplant. One. <laughs> just, yeah. Straight swap. And braking system? Um, this brakes came with a bucky when we no. bought it from the previous owner with it, I think. Could be an upgraded braking system, I'm not sure. Because the bucky does brake well, does it? Yeah. Struggle to brake with the speed. And then, furthermore, nothing else, no? Nothing else. And this bucky's been sprayed? No. A few years ago. A few years ago. We didn't, yeah. nobody done anything we on bought the bucket like since this. the first time. Because yeah. if you look at the, the yellow, it's not the, the standard yellow, no, it's a mixture. The previous owners, um, top secret, they mixed the, they mixed mm. paint to get this, so you won't get this color again. Although you do get the yellow eyelash, like, but it's not the same. You won't, it's get, a the same. It. You won't get the same. This has a lot of pearl in it also. The camera doesn't that. do it justice. The sun is now. You must see it in person. And the condition is still nice with this bucky. Obviously it's aging as time yeah. goes along, but still. And then this is a project here, I'm not mistaken. Project is yes. 18 inch. 18 inch. 
We went um, two weeks ago to Kilani, the first time the Baki was out. Mm. Um, just to see what the Baki will do and to experience it. But maybe in the future mm. we'll go to more events. Yeah. Because that's the first time, like I said, that I saw it like, actually out after we a while. Took it, like, Maybe four or five times out no. to the Dices or whatever, no. but not no really take anyone <laughs> to Mexico. But we didn't really take anyone on. It's but a bit of a risk. Yeah. Running on the street. Especially with the crowd, man. Like by Eisleben or Mexico, <laughs> that kind of places, the crowd is all in yeah. the road in it. And with this park here, it's, it's not... It's not advisable. <laughs> So that's it guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it, as you can see the man's foot crew, they, they <laughs> helped today, yeah. clean the car and all this, so, sugar and you so much, oh, oh, sugar oh. and you my bro, the main guy, because I know, yo, this, this park you a lot of you, but <laughs> we filmed it like two days, two or three days, yeah, yeah three days, that's the third day, no, I won't lie, like you said, um, we threw in a half a tank of petrol, no, just as soon as you pulled it. out, just down the road, yeah. the thing was on court, <laughs> <laughs> Yo, so I can imagine all the all the money you must spend just to drive this thing. I'm grateful for that. Um, but yeah, it was a dream come true getting in this bucket because I know it's a childhood dream, bro. Like like a lot of people can like relate, man. They watch this back and be on it. Bring up. So that's it, guys. On the Baby girl, love my bop and unlike me too. No roof on my top and my babe see through. Hating on the pen, don't stop. They ain't gonna feed you. I've been all on my grind, so why I need you? Baby girl, love my bob, and I like me too. No roof on my top, and my babe see through. Hating on the pin, don't stop, they ain't gon' feed you. I've been all on my grind, so why I need you?